A woodsman was once asked, what would you do if you had just five minutes to drop down a tree? He answered, I would spend the first two and a half minutes sharpening my axe. Let's take a few minutes to sharpen our perspective. This popular axiom is often misattributed to Abraham Lincoln and was further popularized by Dr. Stephen Covey, who shortened the quote to sharpening the saw and included it as part of Habit 7. Covey argued that you need to preserve and enhance the greatest asset you have. That's you. Having a balanced program for continual improvement and renewal in four areas of your life, physical, social, emotional, mental, and spiritual is essential to your personal performance. Finding a balance and assessment is also crucial for your personal and your students' performance. Most people view assessment as summative assessment of learning, where a teacher grades student work at the end of a unit, term, or semester. Assessment for learning is often used to supplement summative assessment by providing non-graded assessment throughout the teaching and learning process that clarifies student learning and understanding. Assessment as learning occurs when students are their own assessors. Students monitor their own learning, ask questions, and use a range of strategies to decide what they know and what they can do to use assessment for new learning. Unfortunately, most assessment is summative and falls into the assessment of learning category, and some added assessment for learning is provided. Assessment as learning is used less often, but we argue it should become a consistent part of all instruction. We also argue that you need to find a balance of all three assessments and develop assessment as learning to the point it becomes more dominant aspect of the learning environment. This will only be possible if you move your learners toward the learner's mindset and the higher order thinking synthesis levels of Bloom's taxonomy that incorporate an ongoing process of analysis, evaluation, and creation. Assessment as learning is a key part of the learner's mindset, self-directed and autodidactic learning, helping your learner to continue to learn how to learn and how to engage in a continual process of analysis, evaluation, and creation will not only prepare them for the test or traditional assessments of learning, it will also prepare them for life. This will also help you to prepare your learner to receive and welcome your feed forward.